Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Nahmadu wa salli ala rasuli al-Kareem amma ba'd Allah has given the people of Iman a force, a weapon, a asset more powerful, more stronger than Yaqeen Iman in the Zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Amal of Nubuwa which in all situations based on our Yaqeen will protect us from the arms of dunya and akhirat the person came to us Abu Dada radiallahu anhu he said Abu Dada my Ihtaraqa baytuk your house has caught on fire it is burning rush towards Mahtaraqa no you mistaken it's not my house it cannot be possible then Majah Akhar another person came said the same thing Qala Mahtaraqa not possible then Majah Akhar Faqala Mithla Thalika same thing Mahtaraqa not possible Ya Badarda then another person came, he said the fire had reached Ila Baitika to your house, Tafi'at, and the fire got extinguished before it reached your house. So he replied, Qad alimtu anna Allah lam yakun li yaf'ala dhaka. I was sure Allah won't do that. So person sitting by, they said, Ya Abay Tazda, ma nadri ayyu kalamika ajab. We don't know which of your statements are more amazing. Your initial statements of saying Mahtarqa, the house is not burnt, or that you knew Allah will not let that happen. So he said, I heard Nabi alayhi salam saying that whoever reads his words, yeah, in Yusbihu Lam Tusibhu Musi Batun Hatta Yumsi. If you read it in the morning till the evening, in the evening till the morning, if you read this year, no calamity will ever befall you. اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت عليك توكلت وأنت رب العرش الكريم ما شاء الله كان وما لم يشاء لم يكن ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعلم أن الله على كل شيء قدير وأن الله قد أحاط بكل شيء علما اللهم إني أعوذ بك من شر نفسي ومن شر كل دابة أنت أخذ بناسيتها إن ربي على صراط مستقيم so Sahaba had so much yaqeen that even the visible and the things that looked impossible and what's going to happen didn't happen at all. So much yaqeen that in the Qabr Nabi alayhi salam told Umar radiallahu anhu وَالَّذِي بَعَثَنِي بِالْحَقِّ نَبِيًا لَقَدْ أَخْبَرَنِي Jibreel Jibreel Islam told me أَنَّهُ مَا يَأْتِيَانِكَ The angels will come in the Qabr and you will give an answer Allahu Rabbi فَمَنْ رَبُّكُمَا When they will ask you who is your Rabb you will say Allah is my Rabb but tell me who is your Rabb وَمُحَمَّدُ النَّبِيِّ فَمَنْ نَبِيُّكُمَا Muhammad is my Nabi who is your Nabi وَالْإِسْلَامُ الدِّينِ فَمَا دِّينُكُمَا I know my answers, what are your answers? So the angels will say وَأَجَبَا مَا نَدْرِي نَحْنُ أُرْسِلْنَا إِلَيْكَ We are shocked, this is the first time ever We don't know if we've been sent to you أَمْ أَنْتَ أُرْسِلْتَ إِلَيْنَا Or you've been sent to us to interrogate us who the interrogator and the interrogated is, that seems very confusing. So when this yaqeen is there, then in dunya and akhirat you'll solve all, all problems, all needs, all difficulties, all hardships, all situations for a believer who has this yaqeen. Zinira was a Roman person, lady who accepted Islam and her vision, her sight was taken away, so the Mushrikeen said that Lat and Uzza has made her blind. So she said, Inni kafartu bil Lat wal Uzza. I don't believe in Lat and Uzza. Allah is the one that gives Shifa and Gyo. Allah will return my vision. Faraddallahu ilayha basaraha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returned her vision. So somebody that is blind, through Yaqeen, Allah returned vision. So Sahaba, Allah gave them control of the wind, Allah gave them control of the water. Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu was once giving a khutbah and in the middle of the khutbah he said, Ya Sariya al-Jabal, al-Jabal, al-Jabal. O Sariya, watch for the mountain, watch for the mountain. So afterwards Sahaba asked Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu that you interjected in the khutbah, what happened? He said, no. I seen the scene of Sariya and I seen that there was a mountain pass and I seen that there was an ambush for them Amlik and Kultu, Ya Sariya. I could not help it but warn them. So we're talking of satellite CCTV camera, 
we're talking of voice transmission without asbab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed in real time the situation on the ground and when the messenger came he said that we heard the voice of Umar radiallahu anhu warning us and we went round the mountain and we saved from the ambush and Allah gave us victory. So power of Yaqeen. There was an elderly lady who had hijrat and she made hijrat and she had a son. So they were put into different departments. The ladies were teaching the mother and it so happened that the son got sick and uh, he passed away. So Nabi Alayhi Salaam said make the takfeen and uh, Sahaba said we got the boy ready, we made his ghusl and his janazah was laying there. And uh, Nabi Alayhi Salaam said inform the mother. فَجَلَسَتْ عِنْدَ قَدَمَيْهِ So she said by the feet of her deceased son فَأَخَذَتْ بِهِمَا ثُمَّ قَالَتْ أَلَّهُمَّ إِنِّي أَسْلَمْتُ لَكَ طَوْعًا يَوَلَّا I came here, I accepted Islam for your obedience. وَخَالَفْتُ الْأَوْثَانْ زُهْدًا and I've abandoned idol worship. رَغْبَةً And I've strove in your path for your pleasure. Oh Allah, don't let this evilness of the worshipping of idols come back to me. Because they will say that I've accepted Islam now. And because of your Islam, this musibah and calamity has befallen you. So Sahaba say, فَوَاللَّهِ مَنْ قَضَى قَلَامُهَا حَتَّى حَرَّقَ قَدَمَيْهِ She wasn't even speaking to Allah and we've seen his feet moving. وَالْقَ الثَّوْبَ عَنْ وَجْهِ وَعَاشَ حَتَّى قَبَضُ اللَّهِ And he got up like a normal. And we ate that day, we had food with him. He lived through the whole zamana of Nabi Alayhi Salaam passed away. He even loved and his mother passed away. Hatta halakat ummu. He loved longer than his mother who made dua for him. So that's the power of Iman. That's the power of Yaqeen. That's the power the people of Iman had. As a Safina radiallahu anhu was traveling and they got lost at sea. They came to an island. Faida anna bil asad kad arwa lana. So there was a lion going to attack them. فَتَأَخَّرَ أَصْحَابِي فَدَنَوْ تُمِنُوا So he said the other companions were worth I went straight to the lion فَقُلْتُ أَنَا السَّفِينَةُ صَحِبُ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ My name is Safina, I am the companion of Janabi Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم وَقَدْ أَضَلَّ الْتَرِيكِ And we are lost فَمَا بَشْمَشَا بَنَيْ يَدَيْ حَتَّى وَقَفْنَا عَلَى التَّرِيكِ ثُمَّ تَنَحَّى So he started showing us direction and he took us to the main road, we were lost the lion in the jungle gave us direction to the main road. After he showed us the spot in the main road, it was as if now when somebody is showed you directions and they go in and they're telling you bye, he as if he was bidding us farewell. Ibn Umar was once traveling somewhere. He's seen people all stopped and stagnated. What's wrong with all these people? There's a lion blocking the road. He dismounted. He disembarked. So he grabbed the lion by his ears. And then he moved the lion away from the road and he said he told the people ما كذب عليك رسول الله سمعت يقول إنما يصلت على ابن آدم ما خافه ابن آدم Allah will make you and subjugate you for that thing which you fear ولو أن ابن آدم لم يخف إلا الله if this insan had not feared anything else besides Allah Allah would have not subjugated anything on him وَإِنَّمَا وُخِيلَ بْنُ آدَمْ لِمَنْ رَجَى إِبْنُ آدَمْ But you become the slave and you become in control of the thing which you fear. The water was in their control. As it Allah bin Hadrami رضي الله عنه The enemy on the other side, he needed to cross. لَا أَدْرِي أَيَّتُهُنَّ عَجَبْ The Sahabi who is narrating the story says, I don't know which of the three things if I seen as it Allah Hadrami Go through, that was amazing. He said the first one was Intahayna ila shati al bahr. We came to the waterfront 
And he said, Bismillah, Samullah, take the name of Allah and go. Fasamayna waqta hamina. So we crossed the water, we went over the water. Fa'abarna. Wa ma balla al ma'u asfala khifafi ibilina. We crossed the water, not even the, the woos of our horses became wet. And the second thing was, we didn't have water for shawkawna, for salah, rakatain, so there was no water. He said, okay, no problem. He read to rakat salat. Thumma da'a fa'idha sahaba. And then we seen clouds gathering. Fasaqayna wasaqayna. We filled all our containers with water and we benefited from that. So Sahaba, the oceans, the seas, the rivers, the dams, the clouds, the sky, fire was in their control. As a Tamim Dari in Medina Munawwara, a fire came, Umar Ayman said, that called Tamim Dari, he said, Qum ila go sort out this fire. فَجَعَلَ يَحْشُوهَا بِيَدِي حَتَّى he, he, as if he was moving the fire away from him. As if he was moving the fire and dispelling the fire away from him and the fire returned to where it came. As it, and, and as well, and there was no water in his orchard, people came to complain to him. He said, no problem, he read. Ask anything? No. Read again. الثالثة, after the third time, the Rawi says, Ara mithla janahi tayr, As if, like the wings of a bird, clouds were coming. And he started raining. And we found out that the rain only came in the land of the orchards. Food. A sahabi comes home, there's no food. Make dua, do amal. Allahumma rzuqna. The wife makes dua. Allah provide for us. فَإِذَا الْجَفْنَةُ قَدْ امْتَلَعَتْ That food from the oven started getting full. They filled all their containers. فَوَجَدْتُهُ مُمْتَلِعَةً and the oven was also filled with food. So they told it to Nabi alayhi salam, he said, لَوْ لَمْ يَرْفَعْهَا لَمْ تَزَلْ تَدُورُ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ If you had not gone inside and inspected what was happening, the mechanisms, it was just coming out, food was coming and coming, then تَلْ الْقِيَامَةِ The food would have continued to come. That's the power of amal. We are worried about this. When we got razzaq, Allah who is the control of risk, Allah is the giver of risk. We are worried about sickness and disease, but we've got a Shafi. Allah is a curer. Allah is the one that gives cure. Allah is the one that's the creator of sickness. Allah is the one that is in the control of the unseen. All the elements, all the powers, all the forces in the world are insignificant compared to Allah. A Sabi as a Dad bin Aswad radiallahu anh goes to relieve himself, he had some necessity. Allah made it such that he seen a rat come and drop gold coins. Went to its hole, come, brought a gold coin. Second hole, gold coin. Like that, the rat brought 17 gold coins. 17 gold coins. Khalid bin Walid was in one area, he seen that Muta'alikun uh, kisin, that this person had a container that container had poison. And he asked him quite, what is this? He said, Sammu Sa'atin. That this is poison that we use it at the time of need. Walmautu ahabbu ilayya min makruhin. So if we are caught, we rather die than go through the torture. So is it Khalid bin Walid radiallahu anh? إِنَّهَا لَن تَمُوتَ نَفْسٌ حَتَّى تَأْتِ عَلَىٰ أَجَلِهَا Until the time of death is stipulated, your death will not come. He said, بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي لَا يَضُرُّ مَا إِسْمِ شَوْنْ فِي الَّذِي وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءُ وَالسَّمِيُّ الْعَلِيمُ Benefit is from Allah, harm is from Allah. He drank the poison, it never affected him one but لَتَمْلِكُنَّ مَا أَرَدْتُمْ When the kuffar seen this, he said, you will control whatever you want. Means the entire keys of the treasures of earth is in the palm of your hands. So poison did not harm Sahaba. One Sahabi Nabi Allah Jamilu Adim Jamalu. So as if time froze for him, Rawi says, for Balagha Bidawamia. We love to see this person alive and he loved to over a hundred years. 
وما في لحيتي بياض there was not a single strand of white hair he was over 100 years ولم ين قبض وجهه حتى مات and there was no signs of aging or wrinkles till he passed away he looked as if he was a young lad so sahaba had wind water air clouds food wealth was in the dastarkhan everything was under their control the jinns used to cry on their death the clouds used to move with them to shade them their whips and their sticks would light up in the dark to give them light if it was too hot it would become cool for them and just cold it will become they would become warm they never need acons they never need underfloor heating they never need all of this here because they had the greatest asset on earth which was the yaqeen in the zat of allah and that's why the people of iman need to make effort on this ya allah akbar akbar min kulli kabir allah is the greatest there is no body greater than allah we are insignificant as no limit or insignificance illa tum aqwa hai illa you are powerful and strong there is no limit to your strongness we are weak there is no limit to our weakness as ya allah you are mighty there is no limit to your greatness ya allah we are small there is no limit to our smallness azam min kulli azim you are great there is no limit to your grandeur we are minute and small there is no limit to our minuteness ajal min kulli jalil ya allah you are lofty there is no limit to your loftiness ya allah we are low there is no limit to our lowness arham min kulli rahim allah you are merciful there is no limit to your mercy ya allah we are hard hearted there is no limit to our hardness hard heartedness aghna min kulli ghani ya allah you are rich there is no limit to your treasures we are poor there is no limit to our poverty ajwad ya allah you are generous there is no limit to your generosity ya allah we are so stingy there is no limit to our stinginess alam min kulli alim you are knowledgeable there is no limit to your knowledge we are so ignorant there is no limit to our ignorance aqdar min kulli qadir ya allah you are most powerful there is no limit to your power ya allah we are weak there is no limit to our weakness hafiz ya allah you are protector there is no limit to your protection ya allah ghaffar you are forgiving there is no limit to your forgiveness ya allah we are full of retribution there is no limit to our retribution shakir ya allah you are grateful there is no limit to your gratefulness we are so ungrateful there is no limit to our ungratefulness hayyun ya allah you are everlasting there is no limit ya allah we are so temporary there is no limit to our being temporary samad ya allah you are independent there is no limit to your independence we are so dependent there is no limit to our dependence ya allah la yanfa'u shay wa la yakhfa alayhi shay nothing benefits him no nothing harms him nothing is hidden from him khaliqu kulli shay create of everything alim bi kulli shay knows everything khabirun bi kulli shay informed of everything latifun bi kulli shay kana qabla wa laysa mithlihi shay there's nothing like this one allah he is unique everything happens to Allah's permission yahdi may yasha guidance from Allah yudhillu may yasha assistance from Allah yaghfiru li may yasha forgiveness from Allah yu'adhibu may yasha punishment from Allah yabsudu rizqa li may yasha assistance from Allah yaqdir Allah prevents sustenance yahabu li may yasha ithna inatha Allah gives progeny to whom he wants yaqul may yasha dhukur wa yajalu may yasha wa qima wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make barren he will make barren yafalu may yasha does what he wants يختص برحمته ما يشاء شاوز المسي قالوا يوانس يسوي لكم في الاحرام كيف يشاء الله تشوزز ان انجينيرز يو ان ذا هوم اوف ذا ماذر هاو يو وانس يو ايد من نصري ما يشاء الله سبحانه وتعالى هابس هاو يو وانس هو يو وانس مين يو وانس ما شاء الله كان وما لم يشم لم يشاء لم يكن ودل ديزاير هابن ايميديتلي ما في الوقت الذي شاء on the time that he wanted على وجه الذي شاء on the way that he wanted من غير زيادة ولا نقصان without any increase ولا decrease ولا تقدم ولا تأخر on his stipulated time تؤتي الملك من تشاء الله gives kingdom who he wants تنزيه الملك من من تشاء الله snatches it from who he wants الله gives honor to who he wants الله disgraces 
all your faculties and even given time yajtabi mi rusli may yasha for the deen of Allah Allah chooses whom he wants yuzaki may yasha and Allah makes islah for who he wants thalika fadlu Allah yu'tihi may yasha whom Allah favors and bestows is the bounty of Allah yakhluku ma yasha wa ma yadhkuruna illa ay yasha Allah wa ma tashauna illa ay yasha Allah Nothing moves, nothing stagnates. Everything on earth happens to the permission of Allah. We need to learn this yaqeen. We need to learn this iman. We need to understand that everything in the heavens and on the earth, above us, below us, east, south, north, west, in every direction happens to the permission of this one Allah. Benefit is from Allah, harm is from Allah, sickness is from Allah, health is from Allah, wealth is from Allah, poverty is from Allah, everything is from Allah. We need to learn this yaqeen and this iman in the zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah give us tawfiq. Akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.